Hi everyone, welcome to Provisual Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how you can easily set up and showcase your design using Provisual and 3D models. Let's navigate to the 3D model section and select an object for our tutorial. The library contains a vast variety of high quality 3D models and it gets updated weekly. In this tutorial, we will learn how to customize a 3D model of a t-shirt on Hanger. Let's choose a 3D model that suits us from the vast provisual library. Let's take a closer look. I think this 3D model looks concise and photorealistic. Let's create a new project. This is what our default model looks like. Let's zoom in the model a little to make our adjustments more precise. Let's start with the outer side element. Let's assign a new color to the material. You can either select or customize the color using the color palette or enter the color code manually, like this. Next, we'll change the settings of the material a bit for a more premium look to the fabric. Next, let's copy the material settings and apply them to the collar element. We will also apply these settings to the inner side element. Now let's move on to the collar stand. Let's change the material to something more glamorous and expressive. We will change the settings of the material a little. Great. Now let's move on to the inner side seams. Just look at this level of detailization of the fabric and stitching. This is so nice. Let's make a small accent and change the color. Next, we will also change the color of the seams. Now let's move on to the settings of the labels. Let's select the label front part and change the color to a more craft looking one. Next, let's make the material settings a little softer. Then we'll copy the material settings and apply them to the label back part. Good. Let's finish setting up the labels by changing the material of the thread. The next step is to configure the hanger element. Let's replace the metal material on the hook part with something a bit softer and more natural looking. Next, let's change the color and adjust the material a little. Excellent. Now let's copy the material settings and apply them to the bolt part. The next step is to move to the hanger part and find a different wood material for this part. Just what we need. We have adjusted the materials of our 3D model t-shirt on the hanger. Now it's time to add our design to the outer side and the label. To add the design, click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. You can also download a UV map and create your design in another editor. I've already prepared some images for our t-shirt. Let's add the first design element. In the opened window, we see the editor where we can move and modify our design. Here, in the left window, the position of the design on the 3D model is displayed in real time. Let's reset the coordinates of the position of our design. Save the design. Now let's add the design to the back of the t-shirt. Click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. Our design looks so good on this t-shirt. Let's save the design. 
Now let's add more individuality to our design and make it more creative. Select the layer with our design so that it becomes active. Next, let's change the material. Let's customize the material itself. Like this. The next step is to customize the design on the front of the t-shirt. It is important that the design layer is active. Next, let's change the material settings a little. We're done with the design settings for our t-shirt. Looks very stylish. Let's add even more creativity to our project. Let's go to the environment settings. Here, we will change the rim light and spotlight settings. Here we'll set up the lighting horizontally and vertically to highlight the curves of our t-shirt. Let's create a background for our 3D model. Let's see what types of pre-made backgrounds we have available. We can choose a solid fill as the background. Or we can go for a gradient fill. Here, we can select the desired colors and also set the direction of the fill, linear or radial. You can also pick one of the pre-designed backgrounds that we've prepared for you. Or, add your own image. Let's add one. Excellent. You can enable moving lights to see how the light interacts with the shape and the surface of the 3D model. You can also rotate the 3D model to see how the design looks in motion. Saving project. After you've completed your design, you can share it by clicking the share button. You'll get a shareable link to open the interactive viewer with your 3D model. Share it with colleagues, friends, or clients. And that's the end of our tutorial on creating a t-shirt on Hangar Design. We hope this has been helpful for you. See you in the upcoming tutorials.